Well, the final race is apparently the Burnt Dingers Handicap Hunter Chase. Oh, well, that Burnt Dingers is right, which we Burnt Fingers. But anyway, Cerulean Seasons, look at that dreadful form at the top for Ryan Costello. Pyrus Anther for Graham Clutterbuck. Opus Safari for Ryan Costello. No More Heaven, Paul Rhodes. Heron Island, Terry Hansen. Mary Cassatt, Paul Rhodes. Just six in this final race of the week then. In the rain and... Two trainers double-handed in the six as well. And we've got a fair old way to go. I'm guessing these are probably the only horses that were qualified to run in this. That's why they're such a small field. And they get down to the first of the 24, which they're all safely over. And civilian seasons is never going to get a better opportunity to have a number in its form figures. I don't think it's got any numbers at all. At the moment, it's all FFP and all sorts of stuff. I don't think there's a, a number in there. So let's hope it can get round and then at least it will have a six at worst to add to all those F's and P's so they're coming down to the second and over that one they go Civilian Seasons is the leader and Stable Mate Opus Safari second so Ryan Costello tries to get a 1-2 for the second to two races on the trot with Mary Cassatt in third and then Pyrocanther is in fourth with no more heaven and Heron Island just the back marker well probably just about gone past no more heaven I think but anyway they're coming down towards the next that's the third of the 24 and let's hope that most of them manage to get around as they go past the winning post they've got three more circuits to go so we won't be dizzy by the end of this one over the fourth and Heron Island is a little bit slow at the back Civilian Seasons enjoying its moment in the sun although it's not in the sun it's pouring rain comes down to the next drops that really well it's difficult to see at the moment when this horse has got such bad form because it looks to be travelling quite nicely it seems to be jumping okay the one that's really struggling is Heron Island obviously doesn't like the uh, conditions Civilian Seasons pops over that one in the lead mistake by Pyracantha Sorry, not on my account, that it was Mary Cassatt that made the mistake. So you see, you can have a 24 or a race and you don't get the horses mixed up. You've only got six in it and you get them confused. Over the next they go. And it's Civilian Seasons in front. Opus Safari second. Pyracantha third. Mary Cassatt fourth. No More Heaven fifth. And Heron Island is in sixth. Over that one they go. All safely over it. A couple of weeks to Cheltenham, I think, isn't it? And uh, that's really the big meeting for the jumping side of things. Some interesting looking battles brewing up this season. But I don't think many of these will be involved in the big races. They might sneak into the Hunter, I suppose, over three and a quarter miles. But they get over that one. And Civilian Seasons is the leader. Opa Safari is six lengths down in second. Pyracanther is third. And No More Heaven and Mary Cassa are next. And then the back marker, but still going round and still in touch with two circuits still to go, is Heron Island. So, down to the next. And over it they go. Oh, those people doing standing in the middle of that field, you'd think they'd uh, get a little bit closer to the action, wouldn't you? But socially distancing themselves from the horses. And uh, civilian seasons past the winning post there. Two more times around though yet. And Opus Safari second. As they take this next one, and they're all safely over that one as we watch them from the SO7 blimp. And it's Civilian Seasons in the lead, Opa Safari second, Pyracanther third, then the Rhodes pair, Mary Cassatt, and No More Heaven. And finally, Heron Island is gone. So Heron Island has got rid of the jockey at that one and is out of the race. So just five left in there. Two for Ryan Costello, two for Paul Rhodes, and one for Graham Clutterbuck. So it's four four for Ireland against one for Wales. In this at the moment, then, the World Cup of Hunter Chasing, uh, Civilian Seasons, and Opus Safari, and Pyracantha third, and then Mary Cassatt and No More Heaven as they get over number 14. Civilian Seasons could end up with a 5 in its form figures. The way it's going at the moment, it could end up with a 1 in them. But it's still in the lead. Opus Safari is 2nd. Pyracanther is 3rd. 
and the two Paul Rhodes jockeys are close enough to have a chat and wonder if either of them will get the dreaded brown envelope from the professor. He's not mentioned many brown envelopes this season. There's not uh, been too many problems with his jockeys, but over the years they've been sent to many far flung place with a flea in their ear and a don't come back message. Uh, one or two others have had nice little brown envelopes stuffed with cash for one reason or another. Uh, civilian seasons at Opus Safari on Pyracantha and then Mary Cass at No More Heaven as they come up. So what will be the last on the next circuit? Past the winning post then just one more time round and then we can put week number eight in the book and it's Opa Safari who leads out of that one having taken it over from Stablemate Civilian Seasons is now starting to drop back through the pack Pyracanthus moving into second Mary Cassatt No More Heaven now starting to make a forward move and suddenly Civilian Seasons has gone from first to last in the space of a bad fence but it's Opa Safari Stablemate is in the lead Pyracantha is second, Mary Cassatt is third, No More Heaven is fourth, and Civilian Seasons is back in fifth. Let's hope it finishes. It's Opa Safari over the 20th in the lead, and Pyracantha down on its nose there. Mary Cassatt moves into second, and Pyracantha's going to have to get going again. Well, this race is going to the Irish, but it's Opa Safari in the lead from Mary Cassatt in second. Pyracantha is in third. Over that one they go. That was a ditch, and they're all safely over it. They've just got three more to take now then, and it's Opa Safari in the lead. Mary Cassatt, Pyracantha, and then No More Heaven. Civilian Seasons is still going. Over the third last they go. And over that one they're all safely over it, I think. It's Opa Safari is well clear of Pyracantha and Mary Cassatt. Opa Safari then in front from in second place, Pyracantha. Mary Cassa is in third. It's got to be the winner's got to come from these three. It's looking like Opa Safari. If it stays on its feet, wins. Got two more fences to take. Being chased by Pyracantha. Over the second last, Opa Safari landed in front. Pyracantha landed in second. Back in third is Mary Cassa. Racing now towards the final furlong and a half. And then the final fence. It's Opa Safari leading by five. Opa Safari from Pyracantha back in second. It's not closing fast enough, I don't think, as they come down to this final fence. It's all going to be down to the jump. A decent jump will win the race. Opa Safari coming down towards this final fence now. Looking like it's only going to jump. It gets over it nicely and races away. And he's going to take this one pretty easily indeed. Up towards the line. Opa Safari is going to Pyracanth the second. No more heaven after that one. And this civilian season is going to finish. Yes, it is. It finally gets a number in its form figure. So I would think that Ryan Costello will probably be as pleased about that as he is about the win. So civilian seasons then. The star of the show finishing last. So, Opa Safari wins it for Ryan Costello. Pyracantha for Graham Clusable was second. Mary Cassatt and No More Heaven third and fourth for Paul Rhodes. And Civilian Seasons fifth for Ryan Costello. Picks up 240 quid and pays for its food for the season. <laughs>